Alright, thanks for joining me for part two of my unboxing of my first box of Star Trek Beyond trading cards. Um, the two autographs should be in these packs. I did some research. Each box will have a metal card. In my case, this one is card 81, and this is the 41st of 100 of these. Each box should have a relic, like a wardrobe card. This is mine. All right, so let's find out what the autographs are. I can't believe that I haven't gotten either one of them. There are also sketch possibilities. Earlier I was saying who I would prefer, like I was talking about the bridge crew, and Chris Pine's my favorite. Simon Pegg would be a huge one. Obviously, Zachary Quinto would be a big deal. Zoe Zalda, I can't, don't know if I say her name right. Um, the only reason she would be a disappointment is because I've gotten her as Gamora from the Guardians of the Galaxy as an autograph. Otherwise, I mean, I still would want a Yahura, but she wouldn't, and I think I would still have to consider myself lucky to get a bridge crew member. Cause, oh, yep. Interesting. I think I got a random alien. Autograph coming up. Yep. All right, so this is good because until this, I didn't know how random they could be. I've got Joe Taslam as Menace. I'm going to assume this is the less cool of the two, unless, unless it's possible that both can be uncool. Um, but this really makes me wonder what all is out there. And as fun as with all autographs and these things, I like to check to see. Like I'm gonna check on IMDb, see what this other this guy's been in. I assume he's been in something else. You never know. I've been tempted to order more boxes, but I figured I would wait and see what exactly is in these before getting any more. I can already say that I'm glad because um that autograph I just pulled, if that's the norm. Like, if the, ne the next autograph in this box is something on that level, then, yeah, I think I'm going to have to hold off. And here is the scene from my autograph. one seems a little thicker. Maybe it's just my imagination. I think it is my imagination. Oh, nope. I got some kind of... First, let's look at the basics. All right. And if I read correctly, each box should have a full set. Yeah, this is an In Memoriam M6. So I would assume they have at least six of these featuring Anton Yalchin that played Chekhov and died a while back, unfortunately. And I really hope that that can't be the in place of an autograph because I believe I'm down to one pack here. Alright, I do see what is an autograph coming up. Nice card. Alright, and we have... Oh, so... All right, so it's not quite like Game of Thrones where you had one that's better and one that's worse. As far as I can tell, these are equally good or bad as depending on how you look at it. Um, this is what they would call full bleed, I believe. And I'm not sure of the significance of it having Star Trek down here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely glad I only bought these two boxes because I'm assuming the next box will have something similar and this was not worth the $75 I paid. 
And yeah, I won't. <laughs> I'm not gonna be buying more. I mean, even if there is somebody good in that next box, which I'm doubting, this is disappointing. But I had to try, and at least I got the base cards, and there's some cool stuff in here. But yeah, that's that's rough. Well, let me know what you think, and hopefully it'll help you in deciding whether or not you want to buy these items. See ya.